Welcome to the Spinal Immobilization Supine Station. This skill is designed to evaluate your ability to provide spinal immobilization to a supine patient using long spine mobilization device. You arrive on the scene with an EMT assistant. The EMT assistant has completed the scene survey as well as the primary assessment and no critical condition requiring any intervention was found. For the purpose of this evaluation, the simulated patient's vital signs remain stable. You are required to treat the specific isolated problem of a suspected unstable spine using a long spine immobilization device. When moving the simulated patient to the device, you should use the help of the EMT assistant and me. The assistant EMT should control the head and cervical spine of the simulated patient while you and I move the simulated patient to the immobilization device. You are responsible for the direction and subsequent actions of the EMT assistant and myself. You may use any equipment available in this room. You will have 10 minutes to complete this procedure. Do you have any questions? No, I do not. Okay. Your time will start when you approach your patient, and when you have finished, please indicate so. Thank you. My partner and I have taken the SI. Is the scene safe? The scene is safe. I'm going to direct my partner to place the patient in an inline neutral position and maintain that stabilization. I'm going to come and Assess pulse motor function and sensation in all four extremities. Do you, I have pulse? You detect pulses. Can you feel this? Can you wiggle your fingers? Response yes. Okay. I'm going to check penile pulses. You have pulses. Can you feel this? Can you wiggle your toes? The response is yes. All right. I will properly size the cervical collar. Apply the cervical collar to the patient. Directing my partner not to let go or move the head. Okay. I will position the long spine board next to my patient. Tuck my straps. At this point in time, I will need the assistance of my other professional partner to log roll the patient. Okay. Place one hand here and one hand here, please. Okay. All right. On the headman's count of three, we're going to log roll the patient past the 90 degree angle towards us. One, two, three. Okay. Position the spine board. Checking the straps that they don't get trapped underneath. Now we're going to log roll as a unit back onto the board. Ready? On your count. One, two, three. Okay. I will check and ensure that the patient is centered on the board. We can come up a little bit. On your count, let's move straight up. One, two, three. Okay, that's good. I will now secure the patient to the spine board using the straps. Starting with the chest. any padding and pad any voids that I might discover between the patient's back or under the knees. I do not see any. Right. Apply the head blocks. I have the head. You will slide your hand out to grab the outside. Thank you. You have it? I have it. Okay. We shall do the same to the other side. Slide your hand out. I have the head. Hold the head, please. Thank you. I'll now apply 
chin and forehead straps to secure the patient's head. point in time, I would secure the hands together so that they would not flop up. I will now check pulse motor function and sensation in all four extremities. Pulses uh, are present. Can you feel this? Can you wiggle your fingers? Your response is yes. Okay. Check the pedal pulse. Do I have pulses in the feet? The pulses are present. Can you feel this? Can you wiggle your toes? The response is yes. Okay. At this point in time, I'll load the patient on the stretcher and I'm done with this station. Thank you. Good luck with your other stations. Thank you.